I don't know either. Go on, Jasper, quickly, go, go to school. We're in a bit of a rush this morning because my car's going in for its service. Oh, oh yes. And hopefully I'm going to get myself a Tesla loaner. Be nice. Bye bye, Jasper. And on we go to the Tesla service centre. Okay, gotta to remember to get the car seats out the back and then, um, yeah. Get them, there you come. Oh, there we go. Seems like we're uh, pretty much good to go. I've always quite liked getting a loner from Tesla. I don't know, it's just, if it's an EV, it's fine. I don't need, oh, this, this is the autopilot one with the stalks in the different places. And not creep. So we're gonna pop that right back on there. There we go, creep, perfect. Do you love these cars? Oh, wow. <laughs> The brakes are a little bit more on the spunky side than I'm used to. All right, let's move this back. Seat's in the wrong place. Right, I'm gonna, I'll see you at home. Fantastic. Now, uh, I'm gonna make this well you probably already can see that this is a much shorter video than normal and there is a reason for that it's because really the main most interesting bits gonna happen tomorrow because I want to find out what needs to be done to my car and what doesn't you know hopefully the service will go all right they won't find anything wrong but this is the sort of the history so I've had my car now for over four and a half years I've done 107,000 miles total. I did initially have a, I paid for the service plan. So the first four services were paid up front and get a bit of a discount, kind of standard. Tesla, I don't know if they still do it, but back then it was one year or every 12 and a half thousand miles for your service. So I wound up having a service every six months. And after two years, the service plan was done. I then didn't get it serviced for the next 50,000 miles. Hmm. Now, if this was a petrol or diesel car and it has had no servicing for 50,000 miles, well, it probably wouldn't still be working, let's be honest. But I, my car seemed to be fine and we'll find out tomorrow whether that is in fact the case or not. In terms of this loan car that I'm in, it's an 85D with autopilot uh, 19 inch wheels and springs not the air suspension and I could really tell the difference in the ride So sort of come I mean it, it's a very comfortable ride don't get me wrong but it's just a little it's not as sporty it's much more sort of bouncy and bobbly and, and not quite locked in the way I've become used to with the 21 inch wheels and air suspension which I think is a great combination actually it, from a driving feel point of view it's just ah um, what else tell you what the brakes on this car, I can tell that they're a lot newer than the brakes in my car. Mine's still on its original discs and pads and we'll find out if they're still okay, I guess, as part of the service. In this car, you just sort of gently touch the the, the brake and it's just, whoa! It's really kind of whoa, throws you back. Just a tiny little touch. So that's uh, <laughs> different. Whereas my car, you do have to, you have to push the brake pedal which I think, like I said, I think that's just the age of the pads and the discs in that car. Uh, anything else? Ooh, autopilot is great fun. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Didn't put a foot wrong autopilot. Didn't drove me all the way back. This will be an AP1 car, of course, because it's a bit older. But yeah, something else that I'm gonna just add in quickly before I say goodbye. This car's done 27 and a half thousand miles and mine has done 107,000 miles. From a feel of drive point of view, they're identical and it, I think it's, it's how EVs age that's one of the massive question marks because let's face it a hundred grand is a lot for a car I didn't pay a hundred grand for my car just 
in case anyone's wondering. But in, in theory, £100,000 is a lot for a car. But is it a lot for a house? When you buy a house, you expect it to last longer than four or five years. Therefore, you're willing to spend quite a lot of money on it. How much would you pay for a car up front where you did never have to buy a new car again? It lasted 40 years, like a house would. Although that is an extreme example, I think there's something similar potentially with EVs because they don't wear out in the same way as a petrol or diesel hopefully. It means that you can spend more and get a better car and just keep it for longer, which will bring that price right down, which is why, you know, my car doesn't have autopilot and I'm not going to be getting an autopilot car anytime soon because when I bought my car, I, my original plan, which is still the plan, is to get 200,000 miles out of it, which will make it a very cheap car instead of 65 grand, which, you know, up front that sounds like a lot of money. It is a lot of money, but not if you do 200,000 miles in it, which, you know, for a lot of people would be 10, 10 years of driving plus. You know, it's six and a half thousand pounds a year, pretty much including fuel and maintenance. That's a stretch. There is some fuel and there is, there is some electricity and there is some maintenance you have to add in there, but it is not a huge amount. It's certainly considerably less than what you have to add for your petrol or diesel. My wife's car, the, the Merc, needs a new turbo, found that out a couple of days ago. It's gonna be 1,500 pounds to get that fixed. Wow, that's a lot of money. In aid of keeping this to being a nice short vlog post, it's now time to say goodbye. So I hope you enjoyed today's vlog post. If you have, remember to like it, share it, subscribe if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you don't already, and I will see you in the next episode of my vlog. Bye. And hopefully I'm going to get myself a Tesla loaner. Be nice. What is a Tesla loaner? Another, another, another Tesla to drive for the next day, Jasper. Is it called the uh, Model X? Uh, probably not. Probably just be an old Model S. But just as long as it's a Tesla. Well, in fact, just as long as it's electric. That's really the main thing. Right.